Hi guys. Charity shop gold or garbage. Nailsy today. Three items for two pounds this cost me. We'll start with the little boat first. Looks like it's been well used, repaired a bit. Matches the one that I got in a different charity shop a while ago. Little brother, I suppose. They should be fun. Not out in the sea or anything, just in a little pond. Having said that, if the sea's warm enough and you want to go chasing it, <laughs> then yeah, you could use it out in the sea, couldn't you? Don't know whether to put a bit of varnish on there to tie you that up or just leave it as it is. It really looks like it could do with rubbing down completely, doesn't it? But you can see the family shape. They're not identical, but similar. So, say three items for two pounds, so that must have been 60 pence or 66.666666 pennies. Uh, next, let's we'll talk about that one, I think. Hot air balloon. They are rather out of favour at the moment. There's a lot of talk about the harm they do when they end up in a farmer's field and get eaten by cows or sheep or something. Um, this isn't complete any, anyway. I think it should have um, some tissue paper in it. But it doesn't. I had a look in the shop. Init initially I wasn't going to buy it. Um, got some drinking straws. We've got the instructions, which I actually stood in the shop and photographed each page because I thought that might be useful for reference. That's how to lay out your sheets of tissue paper. And then you stack them up so you get the right number of panels. Oh, I missed a bit now. Lay them out and glue them together. Stack up a whole load of them. Peg them down the outside edge. Cut them, cut them out using the template, which is... there, so that was the bit that was worth buying. The template for each panel. Good old fashioned brown, brown paper. So yeah. Stack up the tissue paper put the template on top, cut round the template, and then, oh, you've pegged them all down one side, and then what you do is at each individual panel, you glue. And then these are for making the ring. And then eventually, you can stick a hot air in it. It's designed to go over something like maybe a barbecue or something that's giving you heat, not one with flames in it. It does say you can do it indoors, but not going to go very high indoors. I say, I wasn't going to buy it, and then I thought, I might just as well. Got the, um, the important bit. I might try and do an indoor one, just for the fun of it. So, yeah, another 66 pence. Finally, we get to the Ferrari. So Grandad's got yet another Ferrari. Ferrari F40. Actually, to be honest, it doesn't say Ferrari on it anywhere. For copyright reasons, no doubt. 
but it's clearly supposed to be a Ferrari F40. And I picked it up, looked at it, put it down, picked it up again, noticed that on the back. Little hole. I think it's one of those ones with a pull cord on it. So I thought I'd buy it and we could have a look, see if we could fix it. So we'll have a quick look. I did also think it might be a bit of fun for one of those body swap uh, videos I do where I just stick the body from one car on top of something else to make it radio controlled. Or I could make it rubber band powered. It's a little bit small for rubber band power to be honest. But I could do it just for fun for my other channel, for my um, put a rubber band on it channel. Oh, I was hoping those weren't important. Made in China, I don't quite recognise that logo. Oh, come on, Grandad. Right, there we are. Okay. Oh no, there doesn't appear to be a pull cord there. Oh, that's annoying. Nice big flywheel. Plenty of dust. So uh, yeah, flywheel powered. Oh, how disappointing. I really, really hoped that we got one of those pull cord ones. And funnily enough, in one of the other charity shops, there was a little pull cord Mini Cooper. And I didn't buy it because I thought I've already bought one car that's going to be pull cord. So uh, yeah, I didn't spend the money. They're not terribly free running. So what shall we do? Shall we convert it to rubber band power? Or should we just do a body shell swap to radio control? Something like that. Just for a bit of fun. I'll have a think. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.